Thank you, Honorable Presiding Member. The, I would like to congratulate the Minister of Justice for bringing uh, uh, reciprocal recognition, registration, and enforcement of foreign judgments. Uh, what we had all these years was a very old uh, piece of legislation, uh, which was uh, uh, not uh, useful or adequate for uh, current purposes, and often we had uh, difficulty uh, in uh, uh, recognizing uh, foreign judgments, and I'm uh, glad that this uh, bill is being uh, taken for debate today because uh, we should have kept up with the times, uh, but at least now a new uh, piece of legislation is being introduced. Uh, but while we are on that, there are several <coughs> pieces of legislation uh, that have uh, been introduced in this House in the last uh, uh, 20 uh, months or so, uh, mostly by your predecessor, uh, who is a uh, presidential candidate now, uh, your predecessor and your former senior. Uh, Dr. Vijayadasa Rajapaksa, President's Council. Uh, he claims that there were about 75 or so uh, new laws uh, that was introduced. We haven't kept count of that. Nevertheless, law reform is an important issue, and modernizing our laws uh, is an essential feature, and I'm glad. Uh, some of the laws that were brought in uh, were necessary uh, and uh, served to uh, fulfill a long felt uh, need. Yet for all, <clears throat> today uh, I stand here disappointed that the only piece of legislation that uh, ought to have been passed uh, much earlier, in fact, in the last parliament itself, that is to clear the legal block that had been created by the amendment that was brought in 2017 to the Provincial Council Elections Act. In that parliament itself, I brought a private member's bill to remove that uh, legal tangle uh, and to enable provincial council elections to be held under the system that existed prior to, the, uh, prior to that amendment. Unfortunately, <clears throat> that didn't see the light of day. And then there was a change. I brought the bill all over again a second time. Then parliament was prorogued and I had to bring it a third time. But what I brought a third time <coughs> survived until today. It was uh, gazetted. It actually was sent to the Attorney General. He took his own time. Thereafter, it was gazetted. Uh, it was read the first time. Then there were two petitioners who went to the Supreme Court. Uh, they cited me as a respondent. And I uh, appeared in person, and the Supreme Court gave its determination, stating that subject to the change of wording, uh, which the Supreme Court itself uh, suggested, that it could be passed with a simple majority. Thereafter, the bill was taken up for second reading after a lapse of several months. After President Ranil Vikramasinghe took office and uh, promised that several provisions of the uh, devolution arrangements that we find in the Constitution today would be implemented. He started a process uh, in December 22, an all-party conference. Then he had five consecutive meetings with uh, our party. Uh, the Tamil National Alliance, we attended all of those, despite several parties boycotting same. We wanted to cooperate with that effort. 
he claimed that we would uh, resolve the outstanding Tamil national question before the 75th Independence Day, which fell on the 4th of February 2023. But that did not happen. He kept promising all of this for a long period of time. And as the presidential election neared, he again started discussions with us on the old uh, promises. And one of those things that we told him was, provincial council elections must be held. It can't uh, be delayed like this forever. He agreed. There was no time to bring in an amendment from the government side. My amendment was awaiting to be taken up for second reading. So he agreed that that can be taken and passed. And even said that uh, this is the first time that a private member's bill would, in this, under this constitution, a private member's bill would actually become law. He kept his promise when the second reading was taken up. There was no call for a debate. There was no call for a division. It was passed. Thereafter, <coughs> since it was a private member's bill, it was referred to the Legislative Standing Committee. Legislative Standing Committee met twice, made the necessary amendments that had been suggested by the Supreme Court, and it gave its report to this House on the 21st of August, last month. At that time, it was agreed that the third reading would be today. Third reading is a mere formality of presenting the report of the uh, Legislative Standing Committee and accepting it. The members, any member of the House, if he wanted it at the third reading, could have asked for a division. So it was up to the House to either accept it or reject it. But something else intervened in between. The Central Working Committee of the Elangai Tamar Sukachi met on the 1st of September, two days ago, or three days, two days ago, on Sunday in Bavunia. And after a long deliberation of five hours, and that was the fifth meeting at which we were considering these matters, we took a definite decision <coughs> not to support the so-called Tamil common candidate. Ours is the only, only Tamil party that has taken that courageous decision not to support the so-called Tamil common candidate. We are being branded traitors, we are being brand called names, but for the sake of our people and for the sake of the country, we took that courageous decision. It was over, with, a, with an overwhelming majority so that when at the end of the meeting, before the resolution was passed, those who dissented were asked, they said, no, we don't need a vote, it can be accepted. So it was accepted wholeheartedly without a division. That's what our central committee decided. And when we took that decision, we also took the decision that as a responsible political party, which is the main Tamil political party, it is our bounden duty to inform our people as to who they should vote. We can't leave it open. We have to give guidance to our people. And on that account, we considered the relative merits of the manifestos presented by three main candidates, and we decided unanimously to support the Honorable Leader of the Opposition, Sajid Premadas. That decision could have gone anyway, but that is the decision taken by our party to give guidance to our people as to how they should vote. They might follow it, they may not follow it. But something strange happened thereafter. Until that point, the president and the government were 
agreeable to the passage of this piece of legislation. They were agreeable that it should be taken up for third reading today. But all that changed, and yesterday at the business committee meeting, I was told that it cannot be taken up today. Now, <coughs> this is what you call a political witch hunt. This is what you call acting without principles. The president, I told Honorable Premajant at the meeting yesterday that a large number of Tamil people are very sympathetic to the president on various bases. He still has had a, had a lot of support. But by this one act, thank you, by this one act, he's exposed himself, he's exposed his true self to the people. In the Uru Nadavadike in Mulam, Tan Yar and Badai Tirumba Makalaka Nirubitrikra, why Cholal Palavidamana Vakur the Hell Kodupadam, Ada Nadatuva Pola Katuadam, Anal and the Irdi Tarwaile and the Irdi Kadaisi Padie, Edukamal Vuduvadam, Ranil Vikrama Singh Odea, Subava Minbade, in the Ternatalayim Khan Bitrigra, Tamil Makalai Thandipadat Kaha, Tanaku Akali Kamal Vudhira, Tirmanatai, Piradana Tamil Kachi, Edithra and Karnamaha, Tamil Makalai Thandika Vendaman Suli. Arai kurai tiruah ke iranda alam kuda, irikra mahaan sabai kelai nadatam damal pandu badat kah, ipadi yah, mihom mosaman or nadatay le, ranil bikram singa, inrai ki rangi irikrar, awar de inda nadatay ye, nangal nyaite kelamai mudalam tiyadi langai tamlar sekacchi yah, awar ke adar alipad illayan re dite tirmanam, seriyan adan re nirubada mahiradi. Peradana, Elkachi, Talaverk, Angal Adra Kodukra, Bodh, Avakum is the name of Echerika and Ansuli Vakavimagrain. Angalod, Nangura, Vadangalai, Mulumayak and Raivet Tavendum. Ille and Sonal in the Nadu, Aliupa, the Kule Selam. Our Kodutrikra, Vakur, the Halodu, Sendra Dadavayim, Angalode, Makalavak, Perumban, Mayak, Wakalitrin Darkel. Ahinale, in the Tadavayim, Tamil Makal, Elkachi Talaverk, Wakali Parhel. Anal, Nadu Purahum, Balipadea have a solid crowd angle, Nadaimurai Pata Pada Vendum, Ilianral, is the Paraduraman of Life Hill, yet Pertum and Rechericodu, and Repeche Mudito Golagrain, Nandri. Isuti 